Good evening, friends. I hope you are all doing well. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use Ansible to install uh, different software packages in multiple servers at the same time. So let's get started. At first, I need to create some instances. So I am in my EC2 dashboard and I'm going to create some new instances by clicking here. So I will create uh, three instances. Let's give a name. I'm going to choose Amazon Linux. Number is three. So there should be one as a master instance and two other slave instances. So I keep everything as default. I'm going to keep them. Here, create a new security group. Uh, probably I don't need that, so just allow it to be this, and uh, maybe I allow this as well. Okay. Then, uh, this is all fine. I am instance profile, choose an instance profile so that you can connect to your instance from the console. If this is okay, still create launch. So this will actually start three instances. I'm going to rename one as a master. And the two others as slave. So first one is web one. The second one is back two. So uh, these are the three instances. Now I have I have created only two slips, but it can be 100, 200. It's mm -hmm. unlimited. You just need only one master instance where your Ansible will be installed and all other our slips will be connected via SSH. The good thing is of Ansible is you don't need uh, like any agent running into the slaves. So what Ansible does, it's connect to these uh, instances, slave instances via SSH and it runs all those necessary commands over there. So uh, let me refresh this screen again. So I think my master is up now. Let's go to master and click connect. Click connect. So I'm going to connect to the master. In the master, I will install Ansible. In the slave, I don't need to Ansible because I don't do Ansible doesn't require any kind of agent. It's agentless. That's great. So let's take root privilege. Then I'm going to install Ansible. At first, you need to enable Ansible. Amazon uh, Linux Extras. Enable uh, Ansible 2. And we see Ansible 2 is enabled. That's good. I just need to copy this command. Run and then this run install Ansible. That's simple. You have already installed Ansible. It takes not more than 30 seconds or 40 seconds. So once the Ansible is installed, we will check the version. So Ansible, then version. It is Ansible 2.9, so all looks good. Now let's um, create a SSH key. Why we need SSH key? Because uh, what we have to do is we need to connect from this master instance to the slave ones. And Ansible uses SSH. As you know, AWS by default 
blocks the username and password with authentication. So you have to connect with SSH key pair. So you need to generate one key pair in your master node and that you need to add to the child ones. So uh, let's generate an SSH key. So SSH key gen while ST RSA. Yes, no passphrase. Okay, it's generated. Now, if I click here, so, uh, so at root SSH and then ID RSA dot pub. So this is my SSH key. So I'm going to copy this SSH key. Okay. Save it in a notepad. Now uh, this has been done. I'm going. I have to now add this SSH key to the slave instances. So let's go to the instance one. So we are going to notify the authorized host. I will uh, copy this. I think I already have copied, so just paste it. Okay, now let's try if this is correct. What we have done. So, this is my master note. We will keep you all day. Yeah, so it is connecting. So, that is okay now we just need to do that for this second web state web to connect we have to do the same i just need to uh copy this ssh key and edit the authorized voice part This is just a one-time uh, thing, so don't get annoyed because once you've done it, it will stay for a longer time. So we do root slash dot SSH and then authorize key. Yeah. I have done it. Now uh, let's copy the private instance IPs like this is the private IP. And I need to go to my uh, master's instance. This is my master instance. So uh, here we need to edit the host file and add those slave instance IDs. So let's go to the PI. It's etc. Then see Posts. And uh, you might see there is already some examples there which is connected out. So just go at the bottom, uh, give a name like I give web, and then just paste the IP addresses. So I push the first one, this is the first one. 
So this is the web two. Then now I need to copy the private IP of web one. Okay. Save. That's it. Now we should be able to see uh and see both minus n. Sorry, I and see both all minus n ping. That will ping all the instances that it's connected with this master slave. Okay, it shows success. That means we can connect. The basic part is done. Now what we have to do is we need to create some playbooks, right? So let's go to a directory and write some playbooks. Let's say we want to install nginx. So it's nginx.yaml. Playbooks are written in YAML language. So the file name needs to be YAML. And uh, you can write the playbook manually. I have already available created some playbooks in my uh, GitHub. So just this is a public, so you can just copy and paste it. So I'm just going to copy it. Paste the content. Just let me explain what it does. So this is the playbook uh, name and host is web. That is, I have given the host in the host file web. If you give a different name, use the same name here as well. Otherwise, it will not work. <clears throat> then taxes. Taxes are the those things will be done or installed in the slaves. The first thing is enable nginx. So by default, uh, you need to enable nginx in the Amazon Linux too. And this is the command that we, that will be run on the shell. So Amazon Linux extra enable nginx one. The next task is install nginx, that is yum install nginx latest version. And then the last task is start nginx. So that's it, pretty simple. Save this now. Let's run this. The command is ansible playbook nginx.yaml. Okay, so it is generating the logs and everything that is what it's doing, it's showing. So it is now uh, enabling Nginx. It has done for both of the servers. Nginx installation done, starting done. So this is the recap. That means all has been done here. And let's verify whether this is true or not. Let's go to this public IP and try to paste it. Great, it shows Nginx, right? That means we have successfully installed Nginx. Let's go to the second one. And go here. Wow. So it means that all the slaves which are connected to the master runs this command and uh, they all installed Nginx with the latest version and they have started the Nginx over there. So this is quite powerful in a sense that if you have to manage like uh, 50, 100 or 500 instances and you want to do that manually, that's impossible because you have to go all those 500 instances one by one and then you have to uh, kind of like uh, install these Nginx and by, uh, by like uh, as a human, if you do something error then that's really, really hard to find. But in this process, Ansible, we can ensure that every server must have this software or packages installed with the exact same version, exact same status, exact same uh, process. So there's no difference, it's not possible. And also it's, if I wanted to shut it down, I can do that by writing one single playbook and it will shut down all this, uh, Nginx on the, all the slave servers. I have shown only uh, like Nginx, but here I'm going to add some more playbooks for like uh, Ubuntu, PHP. You can also install MySQL. I'm going to add all these things here. 
So it's uh, quite uh, interesting to use uh, Ansible for managing servers. If you have to manage many, many servers and you are quite annoyed or paranoid of how to do that, Ansible is the correct product for it. I hope it, this video helps you to get started with Ansible. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and uh, press the like button. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.